Give me the Cliff Notes version of what we're actually here to see. A bunch of little pieces of a shattered asteroid. From 11 million miles away. This is what I give for introducing you to. Wow. So should we be worried about this crazy asteroid hitting Earth? <laughs> Not in our lifetime. And it'll probably disintegrate before it reaches the surface. All right, Max. You have 24 hours before the world ends. What would you do? Oh, I'm documenting that shit. Can you imagine how cool an apocalypse photo set would be? Oh my god, this again? Nobody would see it. I'm telling you, art requires an audience. Otherwise, it's just... Okay, jeez. Agree to disagree. Awful quiet over there, Murph. Don't want to weigh in? Oh, uh, I wasn't listening. But, hey, looks like the equipment's working. Eek, why am I not at home wrapped up in a blanket burrito right now? I don't know. Me and Moses out in town without you? Think of the wild times you would have missed. Lakeport's most notorious party animals. Oh, I brought cups. Figured that was better than passing the bottle around. This is the best you could do? I don't work in this building. Don't blame me for the astronomy department's bad taste. Mine says I'm the world's horniest grandma. Grab a mug, Max. Wow. One out of two ain't bad. I have some good news. Uh, it's big, but I can't tell you what it is. You can't tell us you have good news and then- I don't want to say anything else until everything is finalized. Mysterious. Well, whatever we're celebrating, I think it calls for a selfie. Oh, let me, I just got this camera and I want to get some good use out of it. What should we say? Damn, I think I have hypothermia. Moses has hypothermia. I've got incoming. I'm gonna, you know, um, do my thing. <laughs> Good news, huh? You two and your secrets. How you ever hold a conversation with each other is beyond me. Sophie's good news is, maybe I can somehow convince her to spill. I love how Moses always looks so passionate about his work, even when he's just crunching numbers. Hey, Moses, casually lean on the telescope. I might knock it over. Pretend. Kind of. Though I'd hardly be the first. Carl Sandberg called it a friend for the lonesome to talk to. Mm, pretty. I haven't seen a moon this bright outside of Oregon. Oh, a Max biography nugget. Uh, <laughs> Those are rare. 
never really talk about why you came here. You already know. Your mom threw me a lifeline. Pulled me out of freelance hell. One of these days, I'm going to find out what you're running from, Max Caulfield. That's a promise. Okay, Spill, what's the news? No chance. That vault is closed. You're killing me here. Are you really going to keep secrets from your dear friend, Max? You're one to talk, my dear. Okay, I'll leave you to your muse. Hey, Moses. Doesn't some small part of you want to know what Sophie's good news is? All right. I think I have an idea. But once we go down this road, we can't turn back. Um, okay. Give this to Safi, if you can. You'll probably have to trick her into taking it or plan it on her. Like a prank? No. This has rules. So it's more of a game. Whoever holds the bottle cap has to do whatever you say. Well, within reason. Moses, I have literally never wanted to play a game more in my entire life. You say that now, but Safi has a very loose definition of within reason. And she'll come for you next. <laughs> okay, wish me luck. Okay, how am I going to plant this on Safi? Since Safi hasn't quit smoking yet, maybe I can use it to my advantage. I'm not above relaxing my principles to give Safi that bottle cap. There might be some other hiding places up here that could work. Could I hide the bottle cap in a snowball? Not sure I want to rely on my aim. I'd only get one shot. Safi eats these when she can't slip away for a smoke. It'd be totally normal for me to offer her one. Now I've just got to deliver this to Safi. Hey, Safi. Mm-hmm. Piece of candy? There's a few left. Oh, twist my arm. <sighs> Shit. It's a conspiracy. Come on, Max. Surely you, of all people, would let a girl have her secrets. And violate the sacred covenant of the bottle cap? Never. You know I'm going to get you back for this, right? Less thready, more talk. Okay. So, well, I've been shopping around a bunch of my poetry, right? Like, as a collection. And a publisher made an offer. For real? Oh my god, Sophie! <laughs> that's incredible! Congratulations! <laughs> Thank you. Nothing signed or anything yet, so I want to keep it under wraps until all the paperwork gets signed. Understood. Your secret is safe with me. <laughs> oh. Oh, shit. Hello? This is Safi? Yes, this is Safia Llewellyn Fayad. Speaking. Be right back. So, uh, 
Would you really take pictures of the end of the world? Yeah. Think about it. I take photos of empty buildings. An empty planet? <laughs> That's next level. Okay. But it's like Safi said. Nobody is ever going to see them. Sure, but... Who cares? I take a lot of photos nobody ever sees. I want to go out doing something I'm good at. You know? Huh. Oh, what? No, nothing. Just... Didn't take you as a... It's the journey, not the destination type. I mean, I guess I'm not. It's more like... Sometimes you reach the destination alone. And that's okay. Look at that. What a tail. Moses was right. This is awesome. Are you okay? Y yeah. All good. Just dizzy. Maybe the champagne. You think I'm gonna take off? Get some rest. I can give you a ride if you wait a few minutes. No, that's okay. I think a walk will clear my head. I think so. Invited me out tonight. I can't recall exactly how you came into my life at all. It seems you always. Caledon's a beautiful campus, but it's even better when it snows. Just waiting to suddenly appear. Everything I know. What a perfect night for walking home. I'll just catch up with Safi tomorrow. I promise this is what you want. Safi's chain smoking again? I wonder what that call was about. Please don't wake me up. Wow, Safi. What did Mr. Snowman ever do to you? Who's been leaving all that squirrel gore around campus? I'd swim an ocean, swim whole seas. It makes no difference how far I'd go, cause I'd find you. Don't get to take a shot like this every day. Wow. You're really watching me, aren't you? Are you okay? 
Something's wrong. Safi. Hey! Come back! Safi. She seems okay. I feel like I should check on her anyway. Better safe than sorry. Shit! Safi, hang on! Sophie's fine. For a moment, I thought... Sophie. Sophie? Hey. You okay? <laughs> <laughs> 